everybody, how's it going? This is Aaron G. This is my friend Dan, Dan Fogarty. Fogarty. All right. Hey, we're going to talk to you guys about the UFC since I got a bunch of guys out there who love talking about the UFC and interrupted my show and everything. So here, here you go. This is UFC 106. This is the review of all the fights that were on the main card and a couple that were on the uh, undercard. Uh, first to start off, Amir Sadali versus Phil Baroni. Everybody pretty much knew what was going to happen in this fight. Phil Baroni was either going to win in the first two three minutes or Amir Sadali was going to win. And obviously it turned out to be the latter. Amir Sadali pulls out a three-round decision, winning every round, I think from every judge as well. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, here's the thing that I have uh, with them. Phil Baroni uh, looks like a truck. And yeah. he was going to just... If you don't know anything about fighting, you see this guy and you think, man, this poor... Amir guy is going to be completely <laughs> slaughtered by this massive tank of a guy, Phil Brony. But, I mean, it's like, it's, it was amazing. You went in. I've never seen uh, Amir fight standing up that well. No. I mean, he, I mean usually he pulls off a submission. Uh, this one here, he just completely, he completely dominated all the way through it. What's his yeah. name? Phil got pecked to death by Amir the Goose. Uh, and that was, was the main thing was for me is like I never knew that Amir had that good of Muay Thai. I knew that he had a really good ground game and I knew that he won most of his fights on the ground, but I never knew that he would stand up and just like smack, smack, smack. And and you know the thing was is like I don't know if either Phil Baroni's really, really tough and has a lot of heart, or if Amir Sadali just needs to put more power behind those kicks and punches, but he hit him a lot and yeah. couldn't finish him. A great a great fight. Uh, Marcus Davis, the Irish hand grenade. And uh, then the killer B Saunders. What did you think about that fight? Because uh, I don't think that Marcus Davis showed a really good showing after that win he came off of in, the, in his hometown. No, no, I didn't. Uh, like right there, what is it? Uh, I don't even remember that fight. Oh, that was the one that uh, Ben Sanders knocked him out, and uh, it was the second round. Oh, no, uh, I remember the stoppage. Yeah. Or no, it was first round stoppage. Yeah, it was a mess. It doesn't really matter what round. It kind of was a boring fight to me. Yeah. This one here, uh, what was it? Yeah, he just, he got knocked out. Yeah. He got knocked out bad. It was actually, it was a devastating knockout. They ended up stopping it. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so Jacob Volkman <coughs> comes in uh, with his uh, chest hair, and Paulo Thiago comes in without chest hair, and uh, yeah. we saw the winner of that one was the man without chest hair. So yeah. if you're going to fight, shave your chest. Yeah, really. Well, I mean, boy, scrape my glasses. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Scratch that. That's another point. Do that. Now, I, here, here's <laughs> the thing with that. Okay, you have this one guy, and what, what's, what's uh, what is it? Uh, Volkman? Yeah, Volkman walks in and looks like he should be selling computers. I mean, I'm sorry for you guys that actually sell computers out there. But, I mean, really, it's like, okay, so, uh, what's it, Thiago shows up, and it's like, oh, yeah, I'm here to fight. It's like, and who, you gonna, who is he fighting? He's fighting the piano repairman, <laughs> Jacob! It's like, dude, seriously? It's like, yeah, so, uh, he said he'd take a fighting today. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> who are you fighting? I'm fighting, uh, what is it, uh, Paulo Thiago, something rather, uh, Volkman, uh, something rather. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a, uh, that was an interesting fight. I've never seen, it's like, man... I don't ever want to see somebody hit in the face that many times. No. I, th I mean, now, granted, dude. Uh, he almost pulled out that one submission, yeah. which was weird. He almost did a lot him. of stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did almost do a He's lot like, of stuff. Dude, <laughs> man, you're like almost money. He's the perfect sparring partner. Yeah, because he like, just dude, keeps coming. And, yeah, you, you can know, do you everything against him. It's just doing. hitting him in the face 9,000 times. But, dude, you didn't win, but, man, you took a beating well. That's right. True. Fix my computer. That's right. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Minotaro, Little Nog. No Which Gara. is actually Big Nog. I have this just theory about the Nogueira family. They are clones. That's right. There's just one Nogueira, and they're just trying to get the mixture right. The first one was a little bit too big, so this one here, it's just a... Oh, we are Nogueira, and I come here, and I fight people, and they die. That's pretty much... Uh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's pretty much what happened with Louise Kane, uh, which was a very impressive victory because Louise Kane, we've seen him fight some big contenders and a lot of people probably didn't even know Minotaur Nogueras because if you don't watch fighting outside the UFC, you don't know that this guy's been fighting in pride for a long time. I think he fought a couple fights in Strike Force, uh, which I think he won. Everyone fights in Strike Force. Yeah, at one time. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, I you have to fight in the minor league sometime. Yeah, I might have fought in Strike I Force. I think, yeah. Uh, I don't know. 
Tim, Tim Sylvia. That's right. Everyone it, fights the strike force and beats Tim Sylvia. Everybody beats Tim Sylvia. That's pretty much the, the way that goes. Sorry, Tim. You're awesome. Hey, hang out Don't come back. punch me. Yeah. Um, little, <laughs> little knockout. I think it was a little under two minutes. Big knockout. Big knockout. Great Muay Thai. Uh, just overwhelmed him. Very quick, quick knockout. And you know, he was just, he was just moving. You saw the way he would, he would block punches. Like he was just doing the perfect Muay Thai pun stuff. Like, like he blocks with his left and punches with the right instantly. And then you saw that he'd throw that and then he'd throw the left hook and then it was over. And then, and you know, Kane just didn't know what to, what to think. He had a very you know? strange left. Too. I know, it's kind of like... Yeah, it's kind of an unorthodox. Like, it was kind of like the Dan Henderson left when he knocks out Mike Bisping, and he takes yeah. this, like, weird, ugly step into like, it and yeah. throws this hook, and then Whoa. Bisping's like... Yeah. Uh, Kendall Grove. Kendall Grove, I Thank didn't know the Lord. that. Tall guy. Oh! Spider, Spider Monkey, Kendall Grove. That's what it was. Okay. Kendall Grove, Spider Monkey. Kendall Grove, <coughs> really nice finish. Triangle, man... What was he gonna do? Was he gonna over plata? Was he gonna what, what was he gonna do? Triangle wow. out of nowhere. That was impressive. And he blocked like the first hundred punches with his face. With his face. Yeah. yeah. It's like I'm just gonna you know, like, what was the strategy here? Well, it was throw punches and I figured I would hit each one with my chin. Exactly. And, and that's, that's the thing, I blocked is like, out my chin. <laughs> sometimes and he's over this before, he has blocked too many punches with his face and he's lost the fight because he gets knocked out or something, you know, stoppage or whatever, and then it's like you know, I thought the same thing was maybe going to happen this fight. It was looking like it was panning out that way, and then Kendall Grove pulled it off. Yeah, it's like, what do you know? This time, it worked. Maybe try, you know, fighting and blocking some of those punches. Yeah, That's but hey, lot, he's back, Kendall Grove. Uh, I think he's won his last two or last three fights. He's won, so he's back. Uh, I don't think he'll ever win the title. I don't think he'll ever be the top contender. But he is, an, he is a great fighter, and not everyone can win the title. That's true, and hey, so, and occasionally you might accidentally pull off a triangle choke. Exactly. So there's always that chance. All right, who we got next? Um, did I say win the triangle? I don't know. I think I did. That's okay. Josh Koscheck <laughs> by uh, Johnson. Great fight. Annoying fight. Yeah. Uh, what was it, three or four eye pokes? They kept stopping yeah, it for cup like, checks I mean, and... Everything else. The, the mystic, you know, the, uh, the mystery knee to the head. To the head. Like, and it was, that's got to be terrible. He's like, oh my goodness. And then you see it. Like, oh, he was clearly knee to the head. Then they show the slow motion camera. And it's like, yeah. Ooh. And he, he hits kinda, himself in his eye. Yeah. I mean, he, so. okay, his eye was puffed up. So obviously he got hit in the eye. I think what happened was that he blocked the, the thing with his hand, thumb, something. And then this came up. <laughs> Poked him in the eye. I think he had to have poked himself in the eye, but I mean, it was from an illegal knee, so granted, time stoppage, and I would never want to doubt Josh Koscheck could say that, that he didn't because I wouldn't want him to jump through the camera and punch me. Yeah. But, you know, I believe you. I just, it was a little weird, slightly. But yeah, hey, a great fight, fight of the night, given by Dana White, and I really love the way that they called out Dan Hardy at the end. I don't yeah, think he's going to no, beat Dan Hardy, uh, but it was uh, very entertaining. Well, I think he might beat Dan Harding if it's on the odd even fight because he pretty much wins every other yeah like, since, win, he loss, just, win, loss, win, loss. since he just won this last one he's gonna have to fight some guy that nobody really knows yeah, about and then lose that lose, one too and, and then, then come back yeah sorry and win. so i mean They're by the similar. odds if i fight him next you I might, might win, win. in if fact you have really good odds of winning I, no i really hope kostik wins awesome for naked choke really good stand-up Really, really impressed me a lot. I just don't think he can beat Dan Hardy. I just don't but think he can do it twice in a row. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know, no, top five, top five, 170 year. There we go. But maybe not the number one. I'd put him in the top 65. 65, probably, most definitely. Yeah. Okay. 65. Okay. Last fight. Forrest Griffin versus Tito Ortiz. First off, I just would uh, like to tell Tito Ortiz. I'm, I'm really glad you're back because I was really getting bored at the press conferences with yeah. guys legitimately saying, hey, I, got, I lost the fight, you know? Yeah. Sucks. Apparently, I mean, he was robbed. I, I think he was. I mean, I don't know. I just... He just coming off of back surgery. Yeah, he and... He coming off of back surgery. a cracked skull. He's a cracked skull. And a bulge disc. And it's a good thing that that doctor came in and gave I you a surgery think, because... Yeah. Mm. And uh, T. Ortiz, what the heck, dude? You, you lost. You lost bad. 
Yeah, Drop lost the against really bad. the monster Forrest Griffin. He did look really now, good. I've seen Forrest Griffin in some of his other fights. It's like, oh, you know, he seems like he's getting thinner. Yeah. He's like, oh, well, then he showed up today, and he was a tank. It's unbelievable. He was pissed. He's like, I'm here to eat Tito Tito. And just, like, totally destroyed him. Yes. He looked amazing. Tito looked small. He did. He, he looked really small. Here. And his hands were choppy. He was coming in with a full fist. You know, if you know anything about uh, MMA fighters... You usually keep your hand open because you can throw a punch quicker. Yeah. And I think that's a sure sign, though, that he had just come off a of back surgery. Exactly. 